Matthew? Well, Doug, here at Heath High School, crime scene tape still lines the front of the building. The frightened students are gone. The worried parents are gone. Even the police investigators are gone here. All that remains are a lot of questions on why a 14-year-old student would open fire on a student prayer group. Flowers lay outside Heath High School. Inside, you see bullets and backpacks. I ran, and, and whenever I saw him pointing the gun at me, then... Emily Miller was one of dozens of students in an informal prayer group in the school when the gunfire rang out. Just, you know, firing just all around the room, just, you know, I don't know, with no expression, no, no certain look, just at anybody and everybody, I guess. This is the 14-year-old accused of shooting and murdering classmates, including this girl, Kay Steger. Police say he confessed to the shooting. He, he would not give us any reason at all of why he did it. Detectives say he also confessed to stealing guns from a nearby home and sneaking them into school in blankets. 22 long rifles and two shotguns that were wrapped in blankets. And he was questioned about those, and he said that there was a prop for his science class. He, he always, every single day, he was in the same place. He was always, you know, in the same spot He with his friends, you know, and... They would always stand in the same place and watch us. But in the same place where students had started their day praying, they end their day praying for their classmates. And more prayers go out this evening for 17-year-old Jessica James. She died from her injuries at the hospital this afternoon. As for the 14-year-old freshman suspect, he appeared for a detention hearing in McCracken County Courts today. On December 1st, prosecutors will argue that they should prosecute him as an adult. Now, certainly people in this part of western Kentucky say they've never seen anything like this. Gauging the reaction around McCracken County and Paducah is our own Julie Koenig. Back to it, back to it. Why? Oh. It's no wonder these teamsters don't want you to see this. Hey! Hey! off, Chief. We ain't got nothing to tell you. Police say the man who hit this officer and sped off was also a local teamster. Get that camera out of here. Jefferson County Police say Detective Ed Robinson was trying to arrest James Thomason in a Jeep on Great Lane. Police say Thomason drove off, hitting and dragging the detective. So we're protecting the officer. That's what we're doing. The suspect was arrested after a short chase. County police say this is the first time they had to put their strike crowd control plan into action. There were some problems with the way that people were busting, you know, aggravated the situation. We'll be talking with UPS, obviously, uh, about how the trucks came out. Uh, just a lot of things went wrong at one time, which... And at a time when 2,500 people were gathered for a candlelight vigil. But their candlelights are soon overshadowed by police lights. And their message of solidarity overshadowed by one of hostility. Hey, get that f***ing camera out of my face. Matthew Hill, Kentucky News News Channel, WHAS 11. Ride down Walnut Street and you'll see a small town and smiling faces. Ride on and you'll pass one broken dream after another. Well, this used to be living room. It was up about in here. Water was about that high. For 32 years, this was home for Elsie Tuttle. For the past five months, this camper has been her home. Well, it's been life, and it's like I've been in jail, pal. Yeah. They tell you not to do nothing to your house. They're going to buy them out. They were planning to buy out 32 homes, but Lebanon Junction was waiting on a million dollars in matching federal housing grants. <laughs> then the bad news at City Hall. We did not get the grant. Nevertheless, the city decided not to bail out of the buyout program. Let me see your hands back there. How many wants to go ahead? It's everybody, looks like. Now, the city is applying for a million and a half dollars in new state and federal grants for these homes, but that means these homes may have to weather the debt of winter until a decision comes down. Well, I'm sorry for what's happened. We're going to do our very best. Thank you. Well, I promise you ain't stuck. <laughs> well, Walnut Street is stuck with half-finished homes and half-empty hopes. In Bullock County, Matthew Hill, Kentuckiana's News Channel, WHAS 11.
Gary, no, not a surprise. Still many people here were glad to see this event come and go, glad to finally get a break in the flurry of court activity here over the past week. But this indictment wasn't the only thing going on in this building today. Take a look inside the lobby here, if you will. In the very same building where the grand jury was indicting Michael Carneal, the county finally got around to its official Christmas tree lighting ceremony. Many call that a sign that despite everything that's happened, this community must move on. Holiday time comes a little late in Paducah. Okay. Okay. The county Christmas tree was supposed to light up last Friday. But last Friday, few people were thinking about Christmas. But now the music changes. And we've got to hold our head up. We've got to really feel great about that we can do something to overcome this. Commonwealth of Kentucky versus Michael Carneal. Counts one to three, murder, capital offense, counts four to eight, attempted murder. Class. In the same building on the same day, a grand jury indicts 14-year-old Michael Carneal and recommends no bail. Carneal will stand trial as an adult accused of murdering three classmates and injuring five others. Help us to keep in mind, no matter what we've gone through, no matter what we will go through in the days ahead, that our trust is in you. And their thoughts are with the families who have lost their children. You know, you've got yours and they don't have theirs. And it's sad. But amid the sadness, this community is determined to find happiness. Determined that there will be Christmas in Paducah. Matthew Hill, Kentuckyana's News Channel, WHAS 11.